Good morning, everybody. This is Piper from Piper's Dragon Tarot. And I'm here to do your second half of the month reading for all earth signs uh, for the, uh, from December 15th until um, December 31st. This is your Bodhi, bi-weekly Bodhi, second half of December. So we're going to do two cards for love and two cards for finance and career. Two cards for love and two cards for finance and career for all the earth signs. So guys, this means Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All earth signs. And sun, moon, and rising, guys, as well. All right. So we're going to use two cards from the Rider weight for finance and career. And two cards from the Telema for love, okay? So, this is for love. Two cards for love. Charles Virgo Capricorn, Sun Moon Rising, second half of December. Two cards for love. Let's see what we get here. I'm trying to get some good shuffles. <laughs> Can Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn expect in love for the second half of December? One more time. All right. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> You ever feel like there's not enough coffee in the world to get you going? I kind of feel like that right now. All right, so earth signs, let's start with love, why not? So um, you got the four of cups and the four of wands uh, and for an overall feeling get the hermit so you guys have gone within here you're doing some serious thinking um, this is you uh, this is actually Virgo energy but earth sign energy so clearly you guys looking within for spiritual guidance um, and Definitely, definitely looking for some insight. The Four of Cups talks about there's an offer and something's been offered to you or and you're you're deeply considering it, I think. It seems like you're not sure about it. You're not sure if it's good or bad or Um, or you may just be looking, I, I think you do, I think you are aware of it. You might not be aware of it. You might not even know that that offer is out there, but you could just be so deep within yourself that you're not, that you're not seeing it. But I think you are for most of you. I think you are seeing it and you're, you're thinking about it. You're trying to think if it's the best offer for you. It's an offer of commitment, whatever, uh, for whoever this is, whether you've put the offer out there, I don't think it's you. I think someone's offered it to you. Someone wants a commitment with you or a sign and um, you're, you're debating it. You're not sure. It seems like you're not sure 
at all. Um, let's clarify the Four of Cups. more cards for the Four of Cups. Oh! Yeah, okay. Wow, you guys are... So this offer that you're thinking about, if this is you, you're seriously considering it. You are serious. You're putting effort into something. And that something is a new beginning. A very new, stable beginning. Um, the, you might be focused on work. Eight of Pentacles is, is working, putting effort in to something. And that something is financial stability. So you may be thinking that you need to be more stable financially before you can accept this offer or put yourself in a position where you can commit. Ace of Pentacles is like, I love this card. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're definitely working on, very diligently working on a new beginning, financial stability. You're trying to improve yourself, it looks like, so that you can be in a position to commit. I want to look at this Four of Wands. Please clarify the Four of Wands. Oh, yeah. The person that, that wants to commit to you or that you are thinking of committing to, they're... of independent means and this may be what's spurring you on yeah. either one of you or both of you you guys are not neither of you is in a position right now to commit because you're both actually the person the other person or this, I mean this could be you but I think it's the other person who wants to commit or who you wanted to commit to you got the five of Pentacles for clarification as well on the four of wands and so somebody is financially feeling a little bit empty here <laughs> it could be both of you actually and you may both be considering um, putting effort into clearing things up in your foundation before you go forward with this commitment super interesting wow all right, um, let's move on to finances. <laughs> okay, so for finances, you got Earth signs, the world in reverse. I should say career and finances. This is could be career or money, and they tie in, let's face it. And then you got the 10 of swords reversed. Yeah, you guys are, what's going on? And for an overall feeling to the read, three of pentacles reversed. So there's clearly a situation at work. You're either not working or you're not, maybe not putting enough effort in or there's a lack of effort. Perhaps you're not being recognized for something or not being given enough credit, but it seems like Yeah, something, something having to do with money or I think
think it's your career. The world in reverse is like a lack of closure. Something's not finished. Something hasn't been completed. Some kind of cycle. Um, this is definitely tying right in with your with your with your love reading. You know, you're working on putting effort into something in your in your stability financially, and, and there's some sort of cycle at work that isn't complete yet. Something's not finished regarding an ending that happened in the past. Something happened in the past. It's unresolved. You have regrets about it. And you may not, you may, you may, for whatever reason, you're not putting any effort into it. Or that could be holding you back because you haven't dealt with whatever this is. The world in reverse means it, something's not over yet. Something that was over in the past hasn't been dealt with. Maybe there was a lesson there and you haven't learned it. It's possible. Um, cycles complete when you acknowledge the lesson that's being taught to you. gain the knowledge and apply it and then the world flips back over and you're done so let's just see what that's about the world reversed oh yeah So you got the Ten of Wands reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed. So this is like a double-edged sword. You can't move forward in your personal life because financially things are really stressed. And you can't move forward in your career and finances because <laughs> you're really stressed, super stressed and overloaded about some sort of love proposition. Or you can't, you know, you can't, you can't. You can't extend any kind of love invitation if you're not good in your foundation. That's what's exactly what's going on here. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you got... Four of Swords and the Hangman. Uh, you guys are in time out regarding this ending in the past. Something ended in the past. You have regrets. You're thinking very deeply. You're taking time out and looking for guidance. It's like looking for guidance all over the place here. Pretty interesting, you guys. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. I think that, um, all right, I'm going to give you, let's do um, a card from Wisdom of the Golden Path. Ooh, goodness. One card for Earth Signs for the last half of December, please. One card for the Earth Signs. So you got spontaneous and intuitive creation. So you guys are definitely you guys are definitely brainstorming. This is going to come to you, I think. You're you're something's going to come to fruition. You're going to come up with the answer that you need. You're going to look inside yourself and um realize your capabilities. This is, this is trusting your intuition and coming up with creative solutions to these issues. Wow. December is quite the journey and for more than a few people. So um, 
we're in retrograde, guys. Mercury is in retrograde, and it goes. It's that ends on December twenty second, and so there's definitely a shift coming in cycles, and you want to be able to move forward after the twenty second. It's a big day. <laughs> So these issues, these things that are that you're learning and, and looking for and working out, um, as of the 22nd, it's like being shot out of a cannon after Mercury retrograde. Be ready to go, is what I'm saying. So lessons learned, apply the knowledge, go. Okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for watching. And if you would like a private reading, I can be reached at pthaggett at hotmail.com. I'll see you tomorrow.